Hey guys, what's up and welcome to Z Reviews Tech. So the Redmi 5 and the Redmi 5 Plus were just announced a couple of hours ago and I'm really excited by the redesign here of the Redmi line. However, I do have a couple of opinions that I would like to share with you guys. Thumbs up if you think the Redmi 5 Plus is going to be a great phone. So first let's talk about the new design. It's an 18 by 9 ratio screen which is basically 2 to 1. Come on guys, 18 divided by 2 is 9. Get it together. The new design looks a lot like the older LG G6 with the rounded corners and honestly looks pretty good. The side bezels though still look pretty big and are not that slim. I think this new design Xiaomi basically chopped off the top and the bottom but didn't do anything to the sides. It also comes in a couple of colors as well but none of these colors are particularly eye catching. Also keep in mind that the new redesign of the Redmi 5 Plus is a lot bigger than the Redmi 4. In fact it's actually bigger than the Redmi Note 4. It's about 7mm longer. If you do not have big hands, it's going to be quite difficult to reach the top of the screen with just one hand because of how long it is. So let's talk about the specs next here. The Redmi 5 Plus features the exact same specs as the older Redmi 4 Prime and the Redmi Note 4. The only changes I see are a different camera and a smaller battery. I was expecting at least a CPU upgrade to the Snapdragon 630 from the 625 or at least a Snapdragon 626, but no. Xiaomi has decided to continue using the Snapdragon 625 and all their devices like, wow, like seriously? It's been more than a year since Xiaomi released the first Snapdragon 625 phone, the Redmi 4 Prime, and it's December 2017 and literally every single phone except for the Mi 6 and the Mi Note 3 use the Snapdragon 625 or lower. There's not even a Snapdragon 626 or a 630. Xiaomi, what's going on? At least the Redmi 5 CPU is upgraded from the Redmi 4 from a Snapdragon 430 to a Snapdragon 450, so that's acceptable. Xiaomi has also released photos taken using the Redmi 5 Plus, and the photos again obviously look awesome, which we cannot trust completely, because not only are they photoshopped like crazy, but Xiaomi probably has a few thousand dollars in lighting equipment and camera equipment just to get the perfect shot using the Redmi 5 Plus, something us normal people will never be able to achieve. That being said, these still do look like some pretty awesome photos. There's also that crazy overdone beauty filter on the front camera that makes its return in the Redmi 5 Plus. People in China love using stuff like this. In fact, this comparison that they show us is actually kind of misleading, firstly because the left image is so dark that you can hardly make out any features, and honestly in my opinion the normal photo on the left actually makes her look better than the crazy overdone one on the right. Battery life here should still be awesome with a 4000 mAh battery so I do not have any complaints. That being said, do note that they did reduce the battery size from the Redmi Note 4 to the Redmi 5 Plus, but then again it's the exact same battery size as the Redmi 4 Prime. Now let's talk about price. The price of the Redmi phones have slowly been creeping up. The Redmi 3 was released around 105 US dollars, the Redmi 4 Prime was about 120 dollars, and now the Redmi 5 Plus starts at 150. That's getting kind of close to Redmi Note prices, because if you think about it, usually the Redmi series is cheaper than the Redmi Note series, but the gap here is getting closer. That's assuming, of course, that the Redmi Note 5 prices do not go up. With all that being said though, at $150, the Redmi 5 Plus is probably going to be the best value 18x9 ratio phone you can get for the money. There have been lots of 18x9 ratio phones released by other Chinese manufacturers like Dugi, Yumi Digi, Yulophone, Bluebu, etc. But assuming Xiaomi still makes great phones like their previous generations, this Redmi 5 Plus will destroy them all. One 18x9 budget phone to rule them all. However, one last thought, don't forget that outside of China, resellers bump the price of new Xiaomi phones by at least 40 bucks. So in this case, you're paying at least 190 bucks for a Redmi 5 Plus if you want one right away and you cannot wait. So again, if you cannot wait, I recommend you click on the link in the description below. You can buy the Redmi Note 4, which has the exact same specs as the Redmi 5 Plus, just a bigger battery and a different camera. And it's only 150 bucks for the Redmi Note 4, which is a great deal. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to see my Redmi 5 Plus review coming soon. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.